and you're sat at the poker table. You are sat with a with a two and a six, both in clubs, and uh, you're playing Texas Hold'em, just to be clear. Yeah. And there's a three of clubs, a ace of clubs, and a king of diamonds on the flop. And your opponent, three people have folded, and there's one person still in. And you and him have been battling throughout the night. You've been winning some, losing some, and folding in, in other places. And he, you seem to have been picking up throughout the night that he's got a bit of a towel that he smirks whenever. Just a really small like lift of the right lip, uh, right side of his mouth, whenever he has a decent hand. And he's sat there, and he looks at his cards, looks at the flop, and you see that little smirk. But there's something a bit off with it. That's what you see. Okay. Um, I would head towards and use my obvious poker skill. Uh, I would try and use my telepathy to have a little listen. Okay. Um, you trigger your telepathy, and you, you're you still getting the hang of it. Uh, it's, you're able to direct it roughly where you want it to go. But whenever there's something a bit loud... or something Yes, it's a busy loud, room. I imagine it's... Uh, Mm-hmm. I, st- I struggle when there's a lot of people about Yes. Um, and you get off his thoughts. Um, the, he's trying to fake it. He doesn't have anything. Um, and he, he knows he has this talent. He uses it to set up to try and fall a bluff later on. Uh, which he's now trying now. And that's what you, you get from him. But at the same time, you hear from behind you I think that's the one sat at the poker table. Okay. Um, right. So, w- would Dion be? Uh, would Solomon be with me at this point? Uh, Solomon, do you join him when he goes gambling, or I, or, I always, I always join him when okay. he goes gambling. Then yes, Solomon's with you. Uh, where do you normally stand when he's at a, at a desk? Uh, I, uh, basically, I stand in such a way that I'm a little bit behind, mm-hmm. um, but in no way can see his cards. So no one can sort of say, "Oh, you're you're cheating" or anything. I, I'm very I, I'm very very obvious that I do not do that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, then yes, so you're in this room and you're getting jostled every now and then. People aren't really paying much attention to you. Oh as no, with <laughs> chips and stuff. Uh, I, I I I don't stand for any of that. Oh right, okay. No, I just I I I have a I, I I'm I'm a pretty big guy. Nobody's jostling me because okay. I will glare at them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, so you get you get hit a couple of times and then they they start. There's a little circle that sort of forms around you as people walk past, um, except for one gentleman uh, who is probably about the same build as you. Uh, he's got long black hair and a pair of sunglasses, and he just walks straight past you. Uh, and puts a hand on Gareth's shoulder. Oh, sorry, Dion's shoulder. Excuse me, sir, you do not place a hand on Master Dion. Uh, well, I'm, I'm very sorry, but I believe Mr. Dion and I have to have a conversation. That is absolutely fine, sir, but please do not put your hand on his suit. Okay. He lifts his hand off. Uh, and bends down and whispers in Dion's ear and says uh, uh, where is it Mr. Eron Rydell would like a word is he going to match the pot <laughs> the, the man's taken aback a little bit and looks up at the table I believe he can do more than that okay at that point I'll I'll stand up. Mm-hmm. I'll say one second, sir. I'll say all in and stick my. Oh, actually, I won't put the card straight down on the table. I'll just push all my chips in. Mm-hmm. So say I've got um, a thousand credits or something yep. or, on there. You you push your chips in, go all in. Uh, you see the other gentleman look, looks at you, swears and throws his cards on the table, and then. I walk away, leaving the cash on the table, mm-hmm. and say, "Solomon, yes, I'll sir. see you in a second. 
Uh, I assume you've done this before, and basically I just gather up the cash. Yes. And then I'll say, uh, don't forget to tip the croupier. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> cool. Um, so I, I, I'm actually going to tip him like a quarter of the winnings just because. <laughs> 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 At this point, because he's not. Watching. I've not even counted. Yeah. <laughs> even though you've won, or even if you've won anything. Uh, I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, so yeah, so Gareth, you are led off by this suited gentleman, and are escorted to a uh, car waiting outside the establishment. I like to uh, think I've got a martini glass still in my hand. <laughs> you find, yep, you walk out with the with the glass still in hand. Uh, I'll be following a respectful distance behind. I'm aware that I won't be getting in the car, but I'll do the kind of um, underworld thing where I stand on the opposite side of the car from the other big guy and we just kind of glare at each other <laughs> while there's important conversations going on inside the car. Yep, that's fine. Um, the door opens. Do you get it? After you, Solomon. Oh, he's inviting you into the car. You wish me in the car, sir? Yes, I'm not getting in first. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, sir. We know what happened three weeks ago. We this only just got dodgy. out of that one. I will poke my head into the car and just kind of scope it out. Uh, there's nobody in there. It's a double back seat, so there, there's two sets of seats facing each other uh, and a blacked out window for the front passenger for where the driver I'll put one foot inside the car and basically yep. tap down all the seats really hard with my hand to yep. make sure that nothing's there no. No, and, then I'll get... the seat. and then I'll I'll get back out and say all seems clear sir uh, I'll hand my martini glass to the guy that come and drag me out yep. <laughs> he, he takes it and, and then it. I'll, I'll hop in okay you hop in uh, Solomon, do you join him? Yes. Cool. Uh, you both get in the car and the door closes. And you hear the front door of the car open as the uh, gentleman that escorted you here proceeds. And the car drives off. And you're driving for about 10 minutes um, until you get to what looks like a bit of a rundown warehouse. And it pulls up. And the door is opened by the same. So, so we so we can see out of the car window. You so can we know where we're going. Okay. Yes. Um, and he opens the back door, and directs you to the uh, open door of the warehouse. It's quite deserted around here. There's not many people, but you do see another two cars parked just off to the side. Same make, model, both black. Okay. Black sedans, basically. I'll take up bodyguard position since this isn't really a valet situation. This is a bodyguard <laughs> situation. I'll, I'll, be I'll just out in whisper front. to uh, Solomon. Um, do we know this man? <laughs> You've never seen him before. I don't as far as you're so. aware. I don't believe so, sir. <sighs> Hopefully I don't owe any more money. It seems highly likely you do, sir, but we'll work it out. <laughs> Needs must! <laughs> Just be ready. I'm always ready, sir. Okay, um, so I'll, I'll speak to this guy mm -hmm. and say, so, wh why have we been called here? Uh, Mr. Eron Rydell, as I said earlier, would like to speak with you. He's presently inside the warehouse. Is this his warehouse? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to kind of unclip the the, um, the, the safety on the uh, pistol on the underarm holster so I can get mm -hmm. at it quick. Yeah. Because um, something tells me that we're here to be executed, and that's <laughs> that's happened once or twice, and we've managed to get away so far. But. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I I will then I will try on. Uh, best not keep him waiting then. Indeed, sir. Indeed, sir. <laughs> Okay, you head in and you are presented with a, a, basically an empty warehouse. It's two stories high and you can see at the far back there's a flight of stairs leading to an upper office. But in the middle of the warehouse is a large uh, desk, so a working desk, a chair behind it, and a gentleman sat 
at the back. Looking like so. <laughs> and behind him, uh, no, that's it. Yeah, behind him, he is flanked on both sides by two other uh, younger men in black suits. And there are two chairs laid out in front of him. It's definitely money, Solomon. <laughs> he stands oh. up and presents to the, the chairs for you to sit. Uh, I don't sit. I'm, I'm happy for Dion too, but again, I'll hover over his shoulder. Yep. Because as far as I'm concerned, I'm here as muscle, not as actually someone to be spoken to. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take a couple of credits out of my pocket or something and just tip the guy that's brought us here. He looks at them, looks at you, and pockets them, shrugs. Uh, and then I'll sit myself down okay. in the most elegant fashion. Yes. Probably ah. cross, crossing my legs or something ridiculous. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Mr. Aaron, or Mr. Rydell stands up and looks you up and down um, and says, oh, Greetings. Oh, it's been a while since uh, I have had to invite one of our frequenters, but you are someone that I need some assistance from. And I do believe that uh, you owe some pocket change, I believe the term is. I'll look. I'll look back at Solomon. I won't say anything, but I'll just give him the eyes. Like I was all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not uh, like I disagreed with you at any given point. <laughs> how much? Um, I do believe that you've been swindling our establishments with your, shall we say, gifts. Excuse me. You... Sir, I am a gambler. We do not have gifts other than that of Lady Chance. <laughs> yes, and some of us are uh, more gifted and blessed than others, shall we say. Lady Luck smiles upon us all differently. But it has come to my attention that you have been um, using your charms more suitably than those that we usually have in our establishment. And this has come to my attention and it's something that I need to put a stop to. So. Sir, sir, these are but rumours. It's just, I'm such a fine gambler. The, these oiks that lose um, cash to me get somewhat upset and, and can't face the fact that they were, they were beaten fairly on the table. <laughs> And had they been beaten fairly, I'm sure there would be no problem here. Uh, I'll, lean f I'll lean forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I am talking about, and he rattles off a couple of days where you've won particular hands uh, at various games. Um, and particularly at um, Digby's. Uh, but also a couple of other of the gambling houses that you go to. Um, and he highlights a couple of situations where under no, situa no circumstance should you have been victorious unless you had extra help or information. Now, we don't necessarily have particular issue with this, but we find ourselves in need of someone of particular import to assist us in a matter. Um, Solomon is a fine man. Uh, sure he is. Uh, and... As handsome as an ox and twice as strong. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Thank you, Dion. Um, but no, it is your uh, personal credentials that we seek. We have... My, yes. my, my, I'm, 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 I'm but a young man. I don't wish to, wish to get my hands dirty, so to speak. No. I'm, are, are you sure you have the right man for any task? Uh, very well. I, I will just double check. Uh, he turns to the, one of the guards behind him and points to the office upstairs. And he runs off and down the stairs comes... Well, he comes, and Blaze is in the upper office. Okay. And uh, Alistair, 
the gentleman or one of Mr. Aaron's or Mr. Rydell, even his name is Aaron. Mr. Rydell's uh, key guards enters the room and uh, says, uh, "Is that the guy that you pointed out last time? Is he the guy with the with the passage?" Sorry, with the passage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, whoa, whoa. I came out wrong. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you mean? You, I mean the the one that got the credentials to get our ship off. Uh, quick out of character. Would I be yeah. telling them this? Uh, we said that you would. Well, that you uh, yeah. were happy to. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, if, if that's true. In, that, not, in that case, I'll just look at him and scowl. Is this after my? Um, <laughs> yes. Previous yes. link. So <laughs> I'd yeah. be like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll just nod really slowly. <laughs> Wonderful. And ca continue scowling. <laughs> Here, yeah. Alistair turns and, and leaves the office and heads back down, or steps out the office and nods to, to Mr. Rydell, who turns back to Dion. Um, I do believe that you are the right person, yes. Fair enough. Let us hear it. So, I have a delivery that needs picking up from a, a certain planet, and it requires finesse to circumvent the usual proceedings. And I understand that you have the gifts of those greater born to be able to circumvent such issues. Uh, when, when you say circumvent, um, can you elaborate a little, sir? Uh, at which point I will try and read yep. him. Okay. Um, can you do me a... Uh, Intellect roll, please. So that's okay. 2d6 plus intellect plus your psionic, which is zero. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting my sheet up. That's fine. Good time. Am I in the room at this point? Oh, did uh, I say? Well, you are in the office upstairs right, and can okay. see down. So you're not actually oh, right, I can in the room. See through the window. And stuff. Yes. Right. Um, so. <laughs> Two oh, D six. It's uh, my eleven. Uh, my intellect's an eleven. So that's it's a, it's your modifier you're interested in. So I believe that's plus one. Oh yeah, there we go. Here's on the front sheet. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That sums me up in one roll. That does. <laughs> <laughs> top and bottom. <laughs> no, no. It's top and bottom. It is is Gareth's specialty. It's he either rolls the max or, ones, or yeah. the bottom. <laughs> um. Max or minimum, I believe they call it. Yes, that's the one. I am cool. a true min max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so you um, you pull from him the he's a bit fed up. He kind of wants to go home to his wife, um, and these business negotiations are really kind of tedious. It's taco uh, night. <laughs> it probably is taco Thursday, um, and but the. Everything he's offered is genuine, but that he, uh, yeah, and that he just wants to get this over with. Um, and as he leans forward, he he says to you that um, they have some diplomatic passes that will allow passengers to uh, ignore the usual guard searches for their ship, but they need someone of noble born to stamp them. Uh, and to escort them off the pro off the uh, ESOS station. What would we be carrying? Uh, you would be carrying nothing, sir. Uh, but you will be going to collect some very important research data from a outpost on Alora. Now, those in the region, so everyone here, if you would like, well. You all know of Allura. Okay. It's a um, it's a planet in this system that is currently under uh, no-fly rules for uh, what's it? Where's my title? Uh, which piece of paper have I put it on? There we go. Uh, it's on lockdown by the Institute of Human and Social Evolution, and they are currently monitoring the. Uh, growth of the humans on that planet. 
and just seeing how they evolve over time. How is the planet spelt, sorry? Uh, it's Alora, A-L-O-R-A. -A. Okay, thank you. It doesn't sound particularly civilized. I may stand out like a sore thumb, shall we say. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. We, we have a, a station on planet side that you will be staying at. It shouldn't take more than a couple of, uh, about a week from now before the research will be ready. I'll, I'll look to Solomon. Um, and just try and judge just from his face. Is he, is he screwing his face up? Is he looking angry? Is he <laughs> like another, another fine mess you've got us into? So how does Solomon react to this situation? Stony silence, apparently. Apparently. Like so that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Stony silence. Um, I don't tend to talk in front of other people unless spoken to directly. Oh, wow. Um, so... And... Well, that sounds like it will take up quite a bit of time. Yes, it will take two days to get there, and then however long it takes for the research to be ready, and then two days back. And compensation for said time? You see his so shoulders slump a little bit, and he looks at you. That's not breaking your kneecaps. And o over your, your telepathy, he's dead serious about everything he's saying. Um, so, before, before we get down to business, you, you're a gambling man? Not personally. What do you have in mind? Uh, just a simple flip of a coin. Indeed. Nothing that said gifts can get in the way of. Okay, and what, pray tell, are you wagering? Ah, uh, you you could probably realise I took took a fairly large sum off your house, some uh, four thousand credits a few weeks back. Yes, I recall. Um, so we 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 play double or quit, shall we say? Uh, heads, I give you back the four thousand credits. Tails, you pay me out eight thousand credits. Um, I don't think you quite understand how this works. <laughs> you are gambling the money that you owe us to earn more money from us. Are there, are there many diplomats uh, or noble born around here? Unfortunately not, hence why we're here. Uh... Even a telepath would know that you're kind of stuck in a... Not even a telepath. <laughs> you would need to have telepathy to know you're somewhat stuck in a corner, sir. I am holding the the royal flush, shall we say. Indeed. So you wish to gamble this away on a flip of a coin? Yes. Very yes, well. Yes, I do. Very well. <laughs> Um, he pulls from his pocket what well, here actually he wouldn't have me he turns to Alistair who's at this point come back down the stairs and says do you have a coin Alistair uh, Alistair just checks his pocket and goes uh, no sir George no sir he turns back to you Dion and says well do you one of them got tipped <laughs> with, with, the one at the door got tipped with credits <laughs> yes I'm, I'm sure I'd have something in there. I'd have okay. some kind of coin. Some coin. Uh, do you want to roll D2? Yep. And uh, what are you going? Odds or evens? I will go evens. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so as the GM, I'll t keep my roll standing. So you have won the wager. And he agrees to pay you 8,000 upon the return from the mission. Very well. 
Uh, and I'll stand up. Is business concluded here? Uh, yes, you may leave. Uh, when do we depart? Uh, on the morrow. Uh, will our drinks be comped at the casino tonight? You weren't charged upon your leaving, were you? Uh, who says I'm done? <laughs> well, if you go back to do more, that is your choice. Um, the night is young. <coughs> Indeed. Uh, he sl turns around two pieces of paper for you to stamp and sign. Uh, no, sorry. He turns around three pieces of paper for you to stamp and sign. Um, and uh, then you are ushered out and taken to the... Uh, back to the casino, where you are dropped off. Uh, so, at that point, once once we get out of the car and they drive off, mm -hmm. I'll say Solo I'll, I'll I'll speak to Solomon. At least we're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything in response. <laughs> and I I won't say anything, but I'll stand there till he opens the door. <laughs> Which probably doesn't take very long. <laughs> yeah, let's get let's get back. Uh, is the same guy going to drive us back? Oh, you're already back no, at the casino. We're back. Yeah, we've, oh, we've been sorry. off at the casino. We're possibly out, zoned sorry. out a little bit. Uh, as as the guy, uh, no, actually, fuck it. I don't give a rat's ass. Um, yeah, I, I, I just said yeah. at least we're not dead. Yeah, I heard that. It's fine. I was just thinking about tipping more people and then realised that there's no point to no. frickin' mob bosses. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm not tipping those people. We, they owe us money. Um, okay. Uh, as we head back into the casino, I'm going to go and cash in all of the little chips that mm -hmm. we had for one or two big chips and then hand them back to Dion. Yep. Cool. And you spend the rest of the night gambling away. Yes. Okay. Morning rolls round. You're drunk and hungover. And there's a bang. Drunk your... and hungover. Bloody hell. Drunk yeah. and hungover. Indeed, you've hit That's... both. <laughs> um, and there's a loud bang on your residential door. I, I like to think Solomon's probably awake. Oh, I've, I've been up for probably an hour sorting things out. I don't drink. <laughs> That's fine then. Solomon, uh, turn that racket down. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I go to the door. I uh, look through the, pe the, the hole first. Yep. Uh, you see Alistair from uh, the night before. Okay. Uh, I again, take the safety off of the gun and be ready. Yep. Uh, just as I open the door, I make sure that he can't slam the door into me. Yep. No, that's fine. Um, and, but I'll stand blocking it. Yep. Yes, sir. How can I help? Uh, the ship's due to leave in an hour and a half. We're here to collect Mr. Dion and yourself. If you'll just oh, oh. wait outside, sir, I'll make sure Mr. Dion is ready shortly. Sure. I'll close the door in his face. That's fine. He, he, <laughs> by the, when you said uh, we'll be out shortly, he turned, already turned back to the car. But yes, right. you slam the door. Oh, oh don't door. slam it. No, I'm very gentlemanly. Very gentle. um, sir, I'm afraid that uh, you have over-imbibed and we must uh, be on... We must be on a ship in a little under an hour. Um, I'm well aware it's over an hour, but I've said under an hour because get, get him moving. getting him moving <laughs> is important. Um, I have laid out your clothes uh, and uh, a little tonic for you. Oh, fuck. Did that actually happen last night? <laughs> always getting us into trouble. Indeed, sir. <laughs> Have, have you checked the back window to see if we can scarper? Uh, there isn't one, sir. We're on the 14th floor. <laughs> <laughs> this must be something in your bag. Sir, I keep having to carry around these gigantic pair of pistols. I would carry a giant stepladder, but your pistols get in the way. Solomon, I've told you not to question my family antiquities. <laughs> I'm not in any way questioning them, Consider sir. Consider it a fucking honour that I let you hold them in the first place. I am honoured, sir. Uh, and then I'll just start necking whatever he's put out for me. <laughs> it's uh, Bloody Mary, so it's tomato <laughs> juice and a bit of vodka. <laughs> Ugh. And I'll take <laughs> off the suit that I've slept in. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I undress you when I put you into bed. 
<laughs> you don't remember getting undressed, but you are. <laughs> I'm a full service valet, damn it. I don't, I don't look at your naughty bits, but I, uh, I do make sure that I can take your suit. You only own like three suits, so they have to be dry cleaned while you're sleeping. <laughs> Otherwise, you haven't got any. Okay, whatever one you've put out, I'd say no, I, I want the other one today. Indeed, sir. Which you do every morning, so yeah, I've actually, so I'm just literally budget. just ready. I just put that one away and get the other one out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose we're smuggling. Uh, uh, it's too I petty would... for me. I'm more of a white commodal, common criminal. Uh, white collar criminal. Indeed, sir. Um, I took the... Uh precaution of stepping out uh, early this morning and buying a couple of things which uh, might be useful. I had to dip into your purse. I hope that's okay, sir. Uh, I trust you, Solomon. You could you could have stolen from me a long time ago. Uh, uh, did I, you take I, your usual cut from last night? I take it we're up. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're I've, I've I'm putting a little bit of food in front of you to eat so that you at least start to absorb that alcohol back into the, your system. Um, I've bought you some light intensifying goggles and a breather mask, which cost 650 uh, credits. That was out of character knowledge rather than... <laughs> Unless he was actually going through the shopping list. I bought sorry? You these. Sorry, was yes. that in or out? No, uh, sorry, that was uh, sorry, that was an out of character yeah, thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I said. Uh, when, when I'm not talking posh, I'm I'm well, I'm trying to be posh when I'm in character <laughs> yeah. and not posh when I'm out. Um, um, light intensifying goggles and what was the other one? Sorry, a breather mask. It basically it's it it's um, it, it's in the book. You can find it. Yeah, no worries. Lets you breathe an atmosphere that you shouldn't normally be able to. Yeah, but well, it, you ha there still has to be oxygen around. It just it filters the oxygen out of it, so it doesn't help you in vacuum. In vacuum, or anything. No, no. But in, in uh, air now, no. yeah. And I'll look. I'll, so I'm guessing you hand. Do you hand them to me or? No, no, I don't hand them to you. No, no, I, I tell you what I've bought. They're on my belt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is very much, you know, when like the the plane's going down, and they sort of say, "Make sure you put your own mask on, and then put a mask on your child." I'm very much like, "I will put the breather mask on myself, then I'll make sure you've got your breather mask on." <laughs> uh, I, I don't suppose you picked up any whiskey, did you? Right now, sir, I believe you. Uh, remember what happens when you we go <laughs> supersonic, and you uh, and you're drinking whiskey. Oh God. I, I, I don't want to be in the same cabin as you, sir, if they're going to be doing that. Uh, you'll, as you'll... always, Solomon. As always, you're right. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I think that's probably our little... <laughs> a good little idea Escapade. of how we get on. Nice. And we'll move on to the car. Yep. So you're rushed into the car, and then you're taking quite quickly out to the current space dock, uh, where you present or where Alistair presents the documents that you had signed to uh, the security. Uh, they wave you through, and you are put aboard the HMS Stardust. Oh, that's so gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's bright pink and has sparkly unicorns on the side. Uh, so have we got a driver? <laughs> oh yeah, there, there's someone else. Uh, pilot is Alistair in the car as well? Alistair is in the car with you guys, yes. I, I take it we've got a cabin. Yes, sir. Of course. With, with space views? Do you have space views? <laughs> <laughs> I do not know if this particular one holds a view to the, atmosphere, to the outside. You'll have to find out when you get there. But anyway, you are led up to the HMS Stardust, and you are... Does it go, tazing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dale Winters <laughs> greeting everyone. <laughs> he stood, up, stood on the, the uh, balcony. Space Winton, me. <laughs> um, uh, so the door to the, to the um, hold is open, and you're directed in. And then Alistair gets back in the car and drives off. I wanted to make him bow before I left, but I will. 
Um, you walk onto the into the hold of the cabin, and uh, you hear one of the uh, starport sirens go off, and the hangar door closes behind you, and so does the hot door to the cargo hold that you've just entered in. Um, so you're there with all your bags and stuff, and sat on one of the uh, side seats in the hold is a young lady uh, of dark skin. Uh, I've already seen her once before. Uh, you, yeah, you probably would have seen her briefly through through a window. Yeah. Um, oh, I see. Was oh, she wasn't she, brought downstairs. No. She was just was. He went up and yes. checked. Okay. Yeah, I was confused uh, on that too. But apologies, I'll try and be clear. I, I I kind of got it, but I I guess I I I caught a. You probably would have seen or someone. Or heard, yeah, or heard the yep. familiar voice in the head. Yep. <laughs> and so there's Blaze right. sat on one of the seats okay. on the side of the thing. How I'm going to get... Since, since I didn't realise we were taking off this soon, I'm going to make sure Dion gets strapped in. Yeah. Um, because... <laughs> you're hungover, mate. I'm going to make sure that you're I actually... I I'm in pain because of the siren as well. I, I've, I've, yeah, I've got some earplugs which I'll just put into okay. your ears. Blaze is watching you, Dion, and just smirking at this. <laughs> and then I'll sort of strap myself in next to you and uh, look across at Blaze, Mom. Are we the only uh, ones in this cabin? Yes. Yeah. Right, so okay. there's just the three of you, uh, and other than the pilot, you're the only three on the the vessel as well. Okay. Um. And can I... I, um, I can send thoughts, can't I? I believe so, yes. Uh, I would send a thought to Solomon yep. that says, you're probably going to need the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. So, I, I, I'm going to think... I, 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 apparently I do know all about your gift then. Fair enough. Uh, the actually, of... no, no, no. I, I, I guess I, if I've not told you about the gift... Well, it's, it's, it's become obvious. He's just uh, We've just been to a mob boss who said that you can read <laughs> minds and then you start okay, talking yeah. about it blasé style. Yeah. So it's all okay. out now. Yeah. Uh, fine. Anyway, so I'm going to put to the top of my mind you don't fire a solid state gun inside of a spaceship, sir. That's how you lose all of your oxygen. And I'll just say, trust me, I'm going to need the fucking gun. I'm like, that's why I have a sword, so... <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call across the thing yep. and I say, so it's a shame he gave you the money. I was really hoping you'd take the kneecap payment. Uh, hello, Blaze. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Looks it like it's a quite with you. Uh, that, that was... Um, let's say on your night off, I, I tend to go out still. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I imagine this is from before. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. From I was around. <laughs> I, I haven't had a night off. <laughs> yeah, you, you can literally just say, I'm, I've not had a night off, sir. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you dreaming again, sir? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just say there was... So, we... we we used to be able to chat, and was quite civilized, and there there was some unpleasantness. We do, we don't need to revisit that, do we, Blaze? It's I'm sure it's water under the bridge. Yes, under the bridge. You, you've you've not changed much, and then I'll look her up and down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> in, a, a, in a creepy way. I'm wearing a tracksuit at the moment, like sports style tracksuit, <laughs> and I've got a rucksack, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, but I know what's under there. <laughs> 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 I suppose. <laughs> Okay, so you guys basically uh, you take off. It's a bit of a rocky start. Um, Dion's I, complaining. I, yeah, I've, I've got the sick bag ready. Yeah. <laughs> um, the 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 main killer is is the shift between uh, being in gravity and then when you hit zero g. Uh, that that's that's the biggest shock to the system. But once you're in zero g, it's pretty much uh, stationary movement from there, and you're okay. And you're on the ship for about two days. Oh. There's uh, the latrine and uh, and a kitchen with which is suitably supplied. And the pilot's quite a nice gentleman. How... Is there actually a cabin, or is is no. it like there's just one room? There's just the hold of the ship, and the uh, well, there's the hold, there's the hold cargo hold, 
Yep. Then there is the cockpit, uh, the lavatory, and the pilot's cabin, and that I is it. I would not stop complaining. Okay, how many, how many like bunks and stuff do we have? Uh, you have seats. Okay, that's it. Yeah. So you have to sleep on seats, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it it is the lowest of low class you have ever travelled in your life. Um, I'm going to be pilfering bits of food here and there. Okay, sure. Does the pilot allow us up to the cockpit? Yes. Okay. I'll be sort of while I'm not while Dion's in a bad mood and doesn't want me around. I'll just spend my time up there, and whenever Dion needs me, I'll be sort of hanging around here. Whenever you're not with Dion, I'm gonna say, "Where's your boyfriend?" <laughs> to whom? To Dion. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I'd be like, "Very good." <laughs> but through just trying to get some humour, but I would be so fucking pissed off. <laughs> I would make everyone around me life a fucking misery. The, the only thing keeping Blaze going because she's really pissed off at this situation is winding up Dion more. Oh dear God! <laughs> so Solomon's the only one who's actually happy, <laughs> and that's only because he's not with the other two. Exactly. And I'd be even angrier because you didn't bring the whiskey. <laughs> um. Michael, is this yeah. a starship or a small craft? Uh, it's a small craft. You're only flying within the this, this star system. Do we just have one pilot? Or is yeah. there like other crew? No, it's just the pilot. So there's no mechanics or anything like that? I'm a mechanic. The, 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 pi the pilot, it's, so the pi it's the pilot's personal ship. Yeah. Um, and, sorry. And yeah, he's the pilot mechanic. Jury rigger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I'm going to basically sit and chat with him about all that stuff because it's fascinating to me. And yep. okay. I, yeah. I won't ask to fly his ship. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, he, um, yeah, he just explains about the local star system, the asteroid belts, etc., and all that sort of stuff. Um, do you want to ask him any particular questions? Yeah, I want to ask him about the place that we're going to. Is there anything particularly dangerous I should be aware of? Well... It does. It is pretty close to the sun, you know. It's uh, it's only the second sun, second moon, the second body. Is it um, terraformed? Yeah. Well, I think so. I don't know. There's these big orbiting space stations around it. I, I guess they might have been terraforming at some point, but it's been like it is as far as long as I've known it. Um, but I, I mean, I do, I do runs there every like, what was it? Uh, once a month or so, bring personnel and food and stuff. I mean, there was this one time about, what was it, three months ago, I almost got gunned down by one of those, like, IHSE guys. The, they were, the they were funny. Uh, the, 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 the guys that control the planet, the, the Institute of Human and, and something, something engine okay. guys. Oh, so, so they're a little bit trigger happy? Uh, they, they don't like people touching their planet, that's definitely for sure. But we're okay going? No, of course not. That's why you we were quiet when we left. Oh, so when you say smuggling, you mean trying to steal things. That's different. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, we own the, the compound on the planet. Well, I say we. It's like, just that the for. people that own the outside of the planet get pissy about the fact that you've got a compound on the planet. Yeah. Or something right. like that. I don't know. Um, oh, don't worry about it. I, I do. No, what was I saying? Something about the sun. Oh, yeah, the radiation storms. You need to watch out for those. You can't stay in orbit, uh, or you can't have your stuff outside. Um, I think it's around midday and... No, dawn, dawn and dusk, that's the one. Um, there's some sort of, like, radiation flood or some stuff. So I... I it's pretty I, regular. Yeah, I tend to drop off and, and take off and then come back and pick people up. So you, so you aim for midday and midnight drops? Yeah. 